Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today's question comes to us from Red Dragon. And Red Dragon writes in reference to the recent death of Fred Phelps, a minor religious figure of no particular importance except that he was known for his rather extreme prejudice. And Red Dragon writes to say that in light of the recent death of Fred Phelps, he has been wondering about the reincarnational fate of highly bigoted people. Is it likely that they will be reborn into the very groups that they were prejudiced against in order to learn the opposite side of the lesson? And my answer to this is that, well, yes, that is a very common point of view when dealing with reincarnation. Part of the idea of reincarnation is that the soul must learn every lesson from every angle, and that it will have many different lifetimes dealing with different karmic lessons that it encounters, seeing them from every conceivable angle, until they are able to have a true understanding of the situation. And in the case of prejudice against others, the soul would have many different lifetimes experiencing that, both as prejudiced individuals and as the recipients of prejudice. And ideally, by going through this, the soul would learn why prejudice isn't really a good idea. And this is definitely a widely held view on, on the subject of reincarnation, one that I would agree with, although I would say that this can manifest in many different ways, and the kinds of lives that the soul will experience in learning these lessons are not just one side and the other, but every different angle, and many different angles. And one should not really speculate on it in an idle way, but rather assume that the soul will continue its journey and learn these lessons. And if you do your own past life work, you'll find that your soul has had many lives of examining many different lessons from many different angles. And often, many, many lives dealing with particular patterns, ideas, belief systems, etc., until eventually it has learned those lessons. And one of the things this tells us is that when we encounter other people in life, they often may be in the position of someone who we feel is doing something bad. And I'm certainly not suggesting that that should be overlooked or pardoned, but we do want to remember that their soul is on a journey just as ours is. And although in this life they may be manifesting in a negative way, that doesn't mean they have a negative soul. It means that this is where the soul is in its learning. And if you were to work with that person as a spirit, for example, after their death, you might find yourself not dealing with any of those negative things, but only with the positive aspects of the being, the parts of the higher self. And we've talked about this in other vlogs as well. And those negative aspects would only be picked up again when the soul returned to incarnation. But yes, highly bigoted people are likely to find themselves in future lives on the receiving end of the very prejudices they put out, as one of various different ways of understanding those lessons. So I hope that answers your question, and until next time, may you blessed be. Today's vlog is brought to us by the term vibration. 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 The movement of energy is believed to become slower the farther down the seven planes it proceeds. The slower the vibration, the denser the matter. Thus the physical plane is the home of the densest matter of the slowest vibration, while the divine plane has the least density and the fastest vibration. As energy moves upward from lower vibrations to higher ones, it generates heat. As energy slows from higher to lower vibrations, it produces coldness. You will notice this in energy working.